All right, so we'll just let that keep going. While we're here, let's just build out the rest of the infrastructure while we still have materials. Can't afford. Oh, that's bad. All right, let's just fill out more foundations. Because we will need to come back here again. Add more foundations. Other than that, we have all this going wrong. Now, we can't build another water extractor? No, I can't. Can I put conveyor? Now we need to put the splitters. Where are you? Foundation logistics splitters. Yeah, it's rotating automatically. This one didn't. Let's get rid of this and this. All right, we have even more power. That's 150 megawatts right here. And again, we do need to come back here. Continue building this out, but overall, this is working. Alright, you know what? Might as well just spend these reinforced iron plates on MK2s. Just get these out of the way. Uh, let's do this. Okay, we spent all of our resources. I think I could probably produce more of these reinforced iron plates. Might as well, you know what? Let's do it. Like, I guess we don't really have anywhere to be at this point in time. Let's do a craft bench. Let's put it up here. Try to make as many of these as possible. Oh, I don't want to do this. You know what? I don't want to do this. Let's just go back. Can't afford, huh? Yeah, I'll just put you there. And there we go. Let's throw away this coal. So for now, we still have to continue filling the biofuel... biomass reactors. But now, we have even more power. Oh, we can't go through there. To go around. Hey, can we climb up here? Yeah, we can climb up here, get something. So, why not? We jump up here? Yes, we can. Oh. Oh no, no, whoa, I slipped. We get one of these. Salmer sloop work in progress. 
Is that's in the shape of an S? What the hell is that voice? Oh, okay. So let's go down. Okay, I do need. Let's see, wait, no, it's not here. Get out of here. Ouch. You just gave up. Okay. Now that we're on the ground, let's go back. Now, this time we do have fuel with us. So, we can chop down some trees. So until we get up those coal generators, we'll have to continue relying on it. We only have two up and running, that's 150 megawatts of power. But our base is already using, like, however amount, like more than that. So let's just continue harvesting stuff. I think it's much more efficient if we just Get the larger trees. And I'll just follow the power lines back to base. This pretty much tells us where... It, oh shit. I just realized this is probably a bad place to go through. Yeah, let's cut down these big trees. Especially if there are other trees near it, because apparently this does splash damage. So it's much more efficient if we just did this. But we have one more slot left free. And now we don't. Just keep running in this direction, we'll eventually get home. Alright, well, that was quite an adventure. Spent all that time looking for the coal ore node. I only got one that I can reach. Like, it's really far away, but we've secured it. We just need to build it out further, and inventory is full. But we just build it out further, and then we'll have decent power supply. Get away from me, damn it. You know what? Fuck you. Oh, there's another one! I'll just run away from you. And dodge your attack. I like that. Oh yeah, I was also researching something. That gives me extra item slots. So I might as well just get that research. And make things easier later on. There's our factory. Then we need to build out that area over there. So the plan for this area is to just leave it intact. Maybe I'll take off the rotors so that we can just build up a stockpile of those screws and iron rods. We do need to get, like, resources coming in from other places. Oh, 
Okay, well first of all... Let's add... Stuff from over here. Okay, I need to sort this again. So, wait. Bottom is leaves, top is wood. Oh, I didn't actually have much with me. Okay, let's get our... Oh, we have lots. Wonder, can we just top everything off? No, we have to divide everything. Fortunately. Wait, do you know what? Let's just give it a full stack. Give all of these a full stack because. And then we'll just leave. I mean, leave some for us. Well, I'll just get the new ones coming in. Like, we don't need all of these anymore. Alright, so we got five extra inventory slots, I believe. Has been inflated. Okay, one hand slot. Sure. And we also need to research the rebar gun so that we have a weapon. It's not a melee weapon. We'll check on our rotors. We have a hundred rotors here. Oh, smart plating. You know what? Let's take this out as well. Okay, we're going to need lots of the reinforced iron plates. Let's just take everything. We have lots. That's perfect. Also need the copper sheets. Do you know what? Maybe we can improve logistics here. And actually, set this back to hot bar here. Yeah, let's let's just improve everything here. Need to add extra iron plates. And you know what? Maybe we should set these. Okay, I want this four, five, and the foundations go to six. Yeah, there we go. So these can move faster. Okay, why am I adding these to my inventory? Uh, you know what? Let's just throw it away. Maybe the throughput can be improved if we just add more assemblers, constructors, I should say. But don't really have any room for this. So the bottleneck is going to be these iron plates. Less. Well, let's just double check this. Yeah, the bottleneck is these iron plates. I don't think we have room to improve on this. So we'll just leave it as is. Let's just take these uh, iron plates. Now we do need to start securing more resources and bring it to our new factory floor. I'll just take a bunch of this concrete, bring it over here. Let's continue working on this. 
Oh, we do need fuel for our chainsaw. I wonder, can we use coal for the chainsaw? Because if we can, that would be great. Oh, the rods are over here. Yeah, let's just take all of these. Except we don't have inventory space. You know what? Let's get rid of these flower petals. Like, I gotta remember to put down the beacon just so it's easier to find stuff on the map, I mean. What's in our... Okay, so we got cables. We still need copper sheets. Do a hundred of this. So we are going to need more rotors. Oh, we do have a full stack of rotors, so never mind. Let's just continue building out this foundation. But we do need to cut this down. Now let's cut down everything in this general area. So, I'm finally doing it. Finally building this factory. Just gotta clear this stuff out first. Alright, let's continue work on this. Build it like so. Oh, we need to chop this thing down. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'll fix it later. Alright, so we have plenty of space here. I don't like that rock. I wonder, can we do something about that rock? I want to like get rid of it. It's just being there, being dumb as a rock. I don't like it. Anyway. So I'm thinking... So all of our resources should like enter this area over here. Why well, should chainsaw you? Get rid of that and we will also start building upwards. Not exactly sure how high this is supposed to be for one single floor, so might as well just check. I'm just having constructors here. I think this is high enough. Oh, I hope I'm right. Because I don't want to, like, replace an entire floor. Or, you know what? Let's just be on the safe side. And then, we do 8 by one And then that will be our second floor. Now, how would we get up there? 
So this first floor is going to be like our initial, I guess, receiving area. And what are we going to do? Logistics, stackable converter poles, or stackable conveyor poles. So, as a Factorio player, when I build a main bus, I like to have four lanes of like resources coming in. So, this will be four stacks of iron ingots, then we'll have four stacks of copper ingots. Because I'm going to be smelting these things, like, at the mining place itself, because you can't really do much uh, with the smelting over there. Or, what the hell am I saying? Can't really do much until it's smelted, right? Since we're not going to have, like, a main... Uh... I don't want a main smelting facility here. Because it's just going to take up room in the factory. And we can easily just do it over there. Like, it's not like in Factorio where you need, like, 48 or so smelters going in order to smelt stuff at a um, fast rate. So, you only need, like, one or two smelters, or maybe, I guess, four smelters per resource node, and the nodes are infinite. So, you're not constantly disassembling stuff, reassembling it somewhere else. So it can just stay there forever. So that's why I'm doing this in this area here. You know what? Let's do six. So again, I didn't, I've never done this before, never got past, like, coal mining. So this is actually going to be the first vertical factory that I'll be building. So here's to not fucking this up. And then for the time being, we'll just have like, lots and lots and lots and lots constructors going Let's give us some space first and then we'll just build a bunch of constructors purely for iron plates hmm should I do it side by side you know what I have an idea let's have like multiple layers What I mean by that is have multiple layers, constructors. We can have like this belt going from here to here. That'll be like really cool. Yeah, so that fits. So one, two, three, four. Five, six. Seven. And eight. I have no idea if this is even a good idea. I'm just gonna roll with it for the time being. So we will have like eight constructors for 
iron plates. Now I have no idea if there is a faster way of doing this. But I guess I'll eventually figure that out. Speaking of which, we should like try to secure more iron ore. We're going to need lots of this. So we have our iron ore nodes over there. Here we go, iron ore nodes. So let's just start securing these sites. We have plenty of space in our inventory. So we're going to use our existing power lines to connect these things. So there's one up there, one up here. So I guess we have to like bring this go over here. Hey, where's the resource node again? Okay, so it's one over here. Where are you? Ah, there you are. Okay, let's clear this out. Come here, you. Hey, come here. Don't roll away. You're supposed to be flying. Come here. There you go. And one more. Hey, don't. Come here. Come here. I just want to kill you. There we go. Okay, so it's like... It's just these two nodes. Oh, these are pure nodes. Okay. Let's bring this in. So that means pure nodes, we can split them up into, I forget if it's three or four, but you know, since splitters like split them up into three, that might be the case. So let's just do that. A minor MK1. So we're going to build a equipment workshop right here. Two portable miners. Wait, object scanner. I think we might be needing one of these. Eventually, but we'll keep it in our inventory for now. Okay, might as well clear this out. Limestone? There's like limestone in this area. Let's just clear out this entire area for the time being.
Oh, can't clear out anymore. Because our inventory is full. So anyway, let's, let's just set this up first. Put this here. And then connect that over there. Okay, logistics will go to a splitter. Okay, we'll just use belt MK2s. And then we will produce um, production smelters. Three smelters here. And then we'll bring the iron ingots into our factory. Then we will put down our power poles. Let's get up here. Oh yeah, that's right. Approaching in other territory. No, I'm not. do this what's our power consumption at this point in time okay so we still have plenty of power so I'm thinking we should merge like wait I think we could just merge this back into one line hope the math checks out Probably won't. But let's just do it anyway, just to see what happens. 